hey you guys welcome back to my channel today is my 30th birthday i'm so excited like you guys i've been waiting to turn 30 for 30 years <laughs> no but like 30 has been like my set number that i wanted to be so for so long like i've always wanted to be 30. when i was 21 i wanted to be 30. and now that i'm 30 it's like is finally here so you guys i decided to do this makeup look uh and i also did this this is definitely not this is an old wig that i cut and made it into a bob i'll leave the link of the original wig down below but you guys ever since like i was 25 i always wanted to cut my hair like cut it all off so i decided to do this wig since i didn't cut my hair yet um and it's just like a cute little bop. But I hope you like this look. And let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. So I started off with my color pop brow pencil in the color black and brown. I haven't did a voiceover in a long time. <laughs> And then I fill it in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color medium brown. And to clean up my brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the color 6.0. Now this stuff is completely optional, but I set the concealer with a setting powder. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm using this Ulta Beauty palette that I got as a free gift uh, for ordering. I think I ordered like four items off their site. Now this is just a beauty supply store eyeliner, but I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I got the idea to set my primer from another YouTuber called, her name is Jackie Anna, and it's basically, it makes your foundation last longer if you set it and that's what I started doing. Now before I put on my foundation, I used the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color corrector just to blend in all my dark spots. And of course I'm using my go-to foundation which is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour HD Foundation. You guys, I love this foundation. And I just blend it all in with a beauty blender. Now for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color chestnut. I've been using this concealer for a good little minute too and I gotta say like I love it. It is excellent. <laughs> now where would my makeup be without a beauty blender? I use beauty blender for everything and I use the original beauty blender because I've tried other types of beauty blenders and I haven't found one that works as well as the original. So if I ever do come across another blending sponge that works similar or a better, I'll let you guys know. Now I contour with the Anastasia foundation stick in a color Cool Earth. I found that this works so great for a contour. And of course, I blend that out with a beauty blender too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I used the same beauty blender to apply the powder. Now you would think I have a lot of beauty blenders, but I only have two. And I use the same one for everything. For concealer, foundation, powder, everything. Now to set the rest of my face, I use the MAC Pro Long Press Powder in the, in the color Dark Plus. Um, it's okay you guys, I've been using it for a good little while too, but I guess it's okay. Now I'll take that same Ulta Beauty uh, Dark Shadow and put it underneath my eye. And I'm going to pop on these lashes and come back. Now for highlighter, I'm using a Gimme More highlighter palette from ColourPop. And my lip combo also came from ColourPop. And finally, you spray and slay. Don't forget to wish me a happy birthday. Um, I'm not sure if this video will be uploaded today or tomorrow, but today is the 11th, July 11th, my birthday. Um, so if it's uploaded tomorrow, sorry, I kinda got busy. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.